I just have this one bin of Transformers because I have, like, a fairly... Like, I do not have a very big shelf for collecting. I mean, I have that dresser over there. But I do not have a very big shelf for collecting. Uh, so I just have all of these Transformers that just kind of sit in that bin. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name is Markiplier. Welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy. I'm just kidding. Uh, I did do a collab with my brother the other day, so go check that out on his channel. It's in the description down there. Anyways, today I will be talking about a figure I picked up the other day and a figure I picked up months upon months upon months ago. And I even made a community post about it. Um... Yeah, so this is Transformers Cybertron Blur, Blur This is Transformers Armada Blur. Um, they are pretty, pretty similar characters. Now the thing that is different in vehicle mode, I'm just gonna say, is he needs a cybernetic face key, which I can grab now. Um, who should I grab? Optimuses, cannonballs. Uh, I'll just take this one. Promise I'm not. Take this one. Alright, so. He needs a mini con, so this port is a lot bigger. And instead of engines, he just has mini con ports. But this guy needs a space key. And then you plug that in. And he turns into his jet thing. I do not have any mini cons. Uh, I wonder if this will work actually. I guarantee not. Nope. So. What I usually do is I just take these two tabs and just pull them back. So there is both of their jet modes. I do think that uh, the Armada jet mode looks a little bit better just in, um, sorry, I'm just putting the face key back on this. Uh, it does look a lot more aerodynamic. It's um, from both angles too. Like, it's just smoother than just a bump. Um, yeah, there's two engines on this, whereas there's just one engine. Uh, the windows and the arms and pretty much all of that is pretty much the same. My brother came in and just asked me a question. Uh, anyways, review on his channel. Uh, anyways, so if you can see, they are the same mold pretty much. Um, uh, you can see that these are white and these are like a darker blue and this is tinted more of a greenish yellow and this is more of a yellowish yellow like you can easily see like that's more of a slimish greenish yellow and this is just clean yellow also this figure was like probably thrown around a lot because i do actually like fix this figure he was broken and he was nine dollars <laughs> Um, but you can see he has like uh, a ton of scratches like, and on this one it is actually really clean like you got the Autobot symbol, uh, you have nice nice gray plastic, so yeah there is a huge difference. Uh, I do like this one better just in general too because I didn't have to fix this one. And this one was so difficult to fix and the person probably played around with the screws and stuff because I had to put a screw in between like a, a clamp and then put Blur's like, um, where is it, his like arm on top of the screw and see it's like it's a lot looser now. But when I had to do it, it was so unbelievably tight. Anyways, um, yeah, so getting into transformation for both of these, uh, they're both the same. Um, yeah, this guy was actually used for the shattered glass board, where this one was not, but that's just because, yeah. The only other thing that's different is the head sculpt. So you can see, and this head sculpt is like, it's been thrown around a lot, I'm just gonna say that. Anyways, onto this blur first, because there's a couple things that are different about the transformation on this one, due to it being pretty much broken. But, so first, what I usually do is take the whole front piece, and you're just gonna 
pull it forward. So take the legs and just pull it forward. You should see his head poking out. Um, flip out the feet and pull the legs down. This is not a very long or difficult process. So you're just gonna wanna pull the legs down. Um, yeah, try and do it slowly. So yeah, there's the first part of blur. Now we're just gonna pull the back half down. Flip these side panels down. Just like that. Oh come on. Oh it's stuck. I had to pull the arm down a little bit. Um then we're going to take these and pull these to the side, lift them up a little bit, and just pull them to the side. So with this one, lift it up and pull it to the side. And here we have the Armada Blur. Uh, he was also $9, so that's why I'm comparing them, because they were actually the exact same price. Uh, due to his heavy, heavy backpack, he does not ever want to stand up. So what I usually do, just a tip, is I fold the heels about halfway in so that he can stand up. And actually, I know it looks like a darker blue on camera, but it is not that dark. Like, the, it's a lot more of a lighter blue. Anyway, it's time to transform this guy. Uh, the feet on this one are a lot stiffer. That's the first part. The second part is, um, when you're pulling him forward, it gets, like, stuck, like, halfway through. Uh, then, you can do that. And there's something, like, sticky on this. Um, so it just, it's able to just stand up. This blur is not actually able to do that. It just comes right back up. Um, and then these two side panels can very much fold down. And then fold the backpack back and fold the legs down. The thing that is so different about these two figures is this one has like absolutely no clear plastic and this Guys, clear plastic is just terrible. Like, I'll show it to you in a second. Um, but yeah, it's just crap. I'm on the seat. So, absolutely everything is just falling apart on this figure, and it's not good. Uh, I'm working on cleaning my desk right now, too. It's a bit of a mess, but these two figures are really cool. Uh, the head sculpt is different. The only clear plastic on this guy is um, his head, so that's a pretty big jump from like half the body to just the head. Um, if you think this one looks cooler, they're the same figure. I would definitely recommend this one more, just because they are the same price. I mean, if you want to pick this one up, you can. I'm not stopping you, I'm just saying like, it, it, it's gonna crack, and it's cracking, and it's falling apart. Uh, but this guy is, um, a lot better than that, so he is fairly loose. This guy's really tight, because I had to fix him, so I tightened him up. But this guy is fairly loose. Um, yeah, I do not have either of their weapons or anything. The only articulation is pretty much the elbows, um, and the legs have like a tiny, tiny bit, like, you can sort of fold the legs back only if you do this exact mo movement, so you twist the leg, fold it up, and then bring it back when you can make him look like he's running, but that's kind of it for the leg, like, you can't do much else with it, so you have to fold it back down, and it's just a weird process. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, that is pretty much it for them. They do scale really well next to some other figures, like, um, here, let me just grab Armada Prime. So, they do scale well next to Armada Prime, you can see, like, Armada Blur and Armada Prime. And then you've got like Cannonball, who's just a red alert repaint. You got Cannonball, and you have 
basically I'm just pulling out all my unicorn fruity figures. But yeah, you've you've lots of options. Um Yeah. Uh, now if you have made it to the end of this video, I have one question for you. Just just one question. Comment down below what review I should do next. So your options are Optimus Prime, Primal, Cannonball. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Where did the cyber key go? Oh, alright. Bye guys. And by the end of this video, I was finished organizing. Woo! Let's go!